Okay, Kwang Ayn, can you turn on your camera, please? Wait, I already already turned it on. Okay, I got it there. Perfect. Okay, are you ready for the test? Mm, yeah. I think you're going to be fine. Okay. Okay. So just remember that um, just to give me as much information as possible, okay? Okay, give me one moment. Okay, are you ready to begin? Um, I, yeah. Okay, let's go. Don't worry, it'll all be okay. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. Okay, we're gonna start, okay? So, okay. give me as much information as possible for each answer. Make sure your explanations are clear and good luck, okay? Mm, okay. Okay, it'll be fine. Okay, so number one, I want you to introduce a family member. Use the questions below to introduce a family member by talking about their life, how their life has changed. So you'll talk about them in the past and in the present. And then I want you to answer this question, okay? Mm, okay. Okay, so you can start when you're whenever you're ready. Mm. I think I'm gonna talk about my little sister. Okay. Yeah, she was born in June 2011. She was born in a hospital. I, I don't really remember the the name of the hospital. Um um she is a student um she hasn't go to uh university or something yet yeah um she's living with my family um yeah um we have been living here for like 10 years um she's a student and she usually like most of the time she play games or with her friends or just like chat with her friends. Do you, she, you, think, do you yeah. think that she has a good life? Why or why not? Yeah, she's a, having a good life because like um, our family is like not like poor of or like rich, like average. Like we can like, um, we live like pretty happy. Um, there is like, almost like there is like never like um like having the people in my family having issue with each other like having a, a big fight between like my dad my mom or some someone yeah perfect well done that was that was really good great job you gave me so much information okay now let's look at part two we're looking at conditionals okay so these are the three different types of conditionals yeah Oh, I just like um, learned this like two days ago. Perfect. So you're going to do great. So if you need to, you can look at this to help you with your answers. Okay. So okay, okay. I want you to look at the phrases on the right over here and talk about how you would react to four scenarios. Okay. Ooh. okay. Okay. So you can choose any four that you like. If I saw a mouse in uh, in my kitchen, I would like mm, I would like freak out and just like run away and call my dad or my mom to help me kill it or like sweep it away. Perfect. Well done. Can you give me uh, another example? If I saw a large spider in the bath i was i would like use the what is it called the, the shower 
thing. I, I don't remember that. Yeah. Shower head. Uh, yeah, shower head to like, and turn on the water to like, to make it go like, shoot. Wait, like, <laughs> oh my god! I it would use the water to make it like stop like hanging on the the wall and like open the toilet and like pick it up and just throw it in. Perfect. I, th I think yeah. it, my okay. explanation is kind of like I'm struggling a bit. It's, it's okay. Because I understand what you're trying to say. That's okay. Can you give me another another uh, example, another phrase? Um, if um, my neighbor's dog bark all night, I would call call the like the apartment like owner yeah to report that there's a, a person who's who have dog in the apartment because my apartment the doesn't allow um, pets but there are many people who have pets in this apartment perfect well done and can you choose one more for me please if a friend asks me to look after their cat or dog for the weekend, I think I would like decline because I the rule of the apartment said you can't have pets in. So yeah, it's kind of sad. Perfect. Well done. You did so good. You were using type two conditional. Great job. Well done. Okay, let's go to the next one. Phrasal situations. So I'd like you to choose two scenarios on the left over here and talk about them. Add as much information as you can, okay? Mm, I think I would like... Yeah, which one would you like to choose? I can't hear you, Kwang Ang. Hello? Maybe you can plug your microphone in and out. Kwang Ang, can you turn your microphone on? Kwang Ang, can you hear can me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, let's okay. go. Which one would you like to choose? The second one. Okay. Do you throw away old clothes or do you give them to other people? Mm, I usually don't um, throw like old clothes away. I would um, give them to my cousin. She, he's like about um, three, five, oh, five years older than me. Five years younger than me, or I will, I will just give my clothes to my little sister. She's actually right now. She's like wearing. She's wearing my shirt right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Thanks for telling me. Okay, can you choose one more scenario? Probably the sixth one. Can you read out the question? Oh, do you enjoy looking after small children? And why not? Um, I think I pretty enjoy looking after children because um, I can, I found that like I'm um, like I can make them like stop like crying and make them laugh yeah just it that's it not not many information about it perfect well done that was great okay let's keep going now we're looking at choices i want you to look at the phrases above and talk about two of them give reasons okay i actually have like Problem deciding what to do in the free time. Can you hear me or it just like? I can hear you. Yeah, your microphone's not great, but I can hear you. Oh, 
let me close the window. Okay. Um, I think I have problem deciding what to do in the free time because I love to choose what to do, like to do homework or just play games. Because I was like grinding more like some cash in the game, and it's kind of hard. And mm -hmm. if I don't do my homework, I will like have bad mark, and my teacher will report to my family and my family will end up like probably shouting at me pretty loud mm -hmm. or just saying why did you didn't do homework right <laughs> yeah perfect okay it's kind of frustrating i know i can imagine do you often change your mind about things what kind of things mm, probably i often change my mind quite a quite a lot mostly things to do in free time like especially in the weekend and to decide to do some sport or just play game like sitting sitting in this chair and like looking at the screen like about um, 18 hours a day or yeah. just going out and having having fresh air Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Well done. Okay. You've already answered this question, so I'm not going to ask again. Okay. So now we're on to the last slide. You're doing great. So just the last little bit. So look at the sentences below and tell an interesting story on one of the topics. You should speak for two minutes. Okay. Wait, can I say about what um, I, what? Uh, like a fight between my dad and my grand granddad. Yeah, yeah. He the story began when we was like go. It's during Tet holiday, and we just go back to my granddad house to to celebrate it. And after after like during lunch. Um, we were sitting together in a circle. Yeah. And we was having lunch and watching TV at the same time. And we was. And at that at that moment, we there was like a sport news. Like report um, all the news to sport news, sport news to the audience, I guess. And my my dad and my I didn't know why this they start argue, but I just remember that they argue about who who won who won at the like the football champion championship. Yeah, it was kind of a big fight. Um, they were shouting very loud. Um, like probably I think I at that time I thought they were going like to have going out and like have a big fight like a fist fight yeah. or just like throwing some utilities mm -hmm. like um like um a bowl or like a, a pair of chopstick or a, or even like the the glass yeah the glass cup perfect Great yeah, story. Kind so of scary. That's kind of great. Yeah, it sounds like a bit of a crazy story, but thank you for telling me. <laughs> and Kwang Ang, that's the end of your test. You're finished. Yeah. Well yeah. done. How do you feel you did? How did you really feel? bad. Uh, I no, disagree. I think that was so good. Like you made one or two small um, grammar mistakes, but you gave me loads of information. Um, I can tell you've been working hard. So well done. I'm really happy with that. Okay. Okie dokie. Teacher, we're okay. finished. Wait, right. Do I just like leave this call and join the other one? Yeah, yeah. so leave this call and join the other one, okay? Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.